Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Anita and today I'm gonna show you my foundation routine which is what I use before putting on my primer, what is my primer, what is my foundation, how I put this on, what I use as my contour, blush, highlighter, all that thing. So you're gonna see how I do my makeup face and how it turns into that. And if you're interested in that, then please thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel, and let's get started! I start off my foundation routine with some skincare products. And as I mostly do this routine in the morning, then I first wake up my skin with this Lancome Youth Activating Concentrate. I apply this to my under eye area, so it raises these areas a bit and to the rest of my face I apply this Kernier 55 Plus Cream, which I talked about in my skincare routine video and I leave that link on the screen and below so you can check it out if you're interested. And then I let the products absorb for about 10 minutes and this is a perfect time to put together all of the needed schoolings or to get dressed. After that, I have one more skincare product to use and it's a Nivea Men Aftershave Balsam for primer and this absorbs immediately and I start applying my new favorite foundation right away. This Estee Laute Double Wear Foundation is used by many many YouTubers and I have to be one of them who just really 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 loves it. The coverage is amazing and even if I use darker shade it still gives me a natural finish and wherever you put it you can be very sure that it will stay there for the whole day and night. I apply it in three parts because one of its peculiarities is, is fast drying so to avoid any foundation spots it's a good idea to first apply and blend it out on one side of the face then the other side and finally on forehead. And for blending, I use my one and only beauty blender. When done with the foundation, I grab for my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in tone 20 and apply it under my eyes in a triangle shape and a bit on my forehead, bridge of my nose, sides of my nose, above upper lip and on chin. And for blending, I again use my beauty blender and I'm just switching between the sharper and wider side of it. Now it's time to set our face painting <laughs> with this amazing no color and the shine powder by the palm. I do my contouring with contour powder and this BYS one is a very cheap option but has the exact tone I want, a deep dark brown. And it has a very good pigmentation and I'm actually very surprised how good work it does. And here's the right side with and left side without contour powder just for you to see the difference. I make darker contouring under my cheekbones and lighter on my forehead and jawline. And of course, girl, don't forget this blend because it's like blending out the fakeness. My favorite blush to use at the moment is this ginger toned blush by the makeup store and it raises my cheeks just enough to recognize a bit of difference and works well together with every outfit. To keep the contouring balanced, we also need some highlighter. The Sibol Mary Luminizer seems to be another holy grail product to a lot of social media famous makeup gurus. And I also like that and you can choose the effect of it depending how much product you use, which is very cool. And I'm not going crazy with it, just applying an average amount on my cheekbones, giving the shine on my tip of my nose and above upper lip, and also applying just a little little from the highest point of my brow to the end of my face. I filled in my brows to give you an extra tip, which is how I define my brows. 
I picked this middle color from this concealer palette from Shop Misa and uh, just applying it around my brows and then blending it out using my fingers and outwards blending motion. It's a good tip to use when you want to cover the excess brow color or visually raise your brows. And this is it! I'm done with my makeup base and I really 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 love it. Next I'll add some mascara, liner and lipstick and then show you what my final aka signature look looks like. <laughs> for watching so now you know how I so now you know how I do my beautiful skin and how I journeyed into that and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit a big thumbs up to this video because this helps out a lot and I can see that you really like this video so I'll see you in my next video bye